was in the forest looking to see the trees, but none were there. He found a girl. She found the girl king. Good morning, Rebels. Today is October, Monday, October the 25th. My name is Sophie. And I'm Keenan. Welcome back. This week on Web Rebels Media, we are tackling Halloween and the history behind it. The celebration of Halloween originated from the ancient Celtic festival known as Samhain, where people would wear costumes and light bonfires in the hopes of warding off unwanted spirits. After Pope Gregory III designated November 1st to be the day to honor saints and began incorporating practices of Samhain, the celebration gradually began to develop into what we know as Halloween today. Commemorated by trick-or-treating, haunted houses, carving pumpkins, festive assemblies, and more. During the Tongali Celts, about 2,000 years ago, November 1st marked the end of summer and the harvest and the beginning of the severe winter, which was often associated with death. That's right, Sophie, death. Uh, the celebration of Samhain took place the night of October 31st, when it was believed the spirit of the deceased returned to roam the earth. The following day, November 1st, designated the new year for the Celts. As well as being mischievous, the Celts believed the spirit's presence could make it easier for Druids or Celtic priests to predict the future so to prepare for the night, the Druids constructed big bonfires for sacrificing animals to the Celtic deities. The Celtics usually wore costumes that were usually animal heads and the skins and told people their fortunes, or at least they tried to, am I right, Sophie? The media students further dove into the history of Halloween, as well as conducting interviews which would be centered around people's past experiences with Halloween. Personally, my favorite part of Halloween is viewing everyone's unique costume. Let's get another person's first. Halloween's origins date back to the ancient Celtic festival of Samain, the Celts who lived 2,000 years ago, mostly in the area that is now Ireland, the United Kingdom, and Northern France, celebrated their new year on November 1st. This day marked the end of summer and the harvest, and the beginning of the dark, cold winter. A time of the year that was often associated with human death. Celts believe that on the night before the new year, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurry. On the night of October 31st, they celebrated Samhain when it was believed that the ghosts of the dead returned to Earth. What is your name? Kenan. Luke Gabriel. For you, what is Halloween? Well, it's to dress up in a costume, I guess, to go trick-or-treating, but like as you get older, you don't really think about Halloween, I guess. Well, not for me. I don't know about other people. Yeah. Maybe you're going to party. I don't know. It's not me. Yeah, it doesn't really come across my mind until it happens. What was your most memorable Halloween and what happened? Actually, October, October 31st, Friday. Um, in grade 10, where um, a, like a bunch of, actually pretty much all the grades, all, all the males in our grade went to the boys' change room to listen to music. We were all jumping up and down because some of us had costumes, and it was fun. It was so memorable. We also did the squat kicking dances and just some Russian dances that were like, kind of like that. What happened was we held a salute for three minutes and 45 seconds throughout the whole duration of the Soviet anthem as a joke. It was very funny. What is your favorite Halloween costume? Um, in like, ah, uh, in like grade nine, I was like the Joker. I had like a makeup for a weird outfit that I made myself. So. This amazing lizard costume, and I was like one years old. Oh, and it, it, I was all green. It, it was I was a lizard, like reptile. It was, it was so cool. I loved it. What are your plans for this Halloween? I was hoping that I could hang out with a couple friends, and walk around. Well, um, Halloween falls on a Sunday this year, but I assume you could wear a costume on Friday. I don't necessarily have an idea in mind, but um, maybe the Squid Game outfit that's been really popular. And yeah, I don't really go trick or treating. I'm too old for that. But maybe they'll eat chocolate. Next up, here's a skit that expresses the consequences of not purchasing a pumpkin spice latte during the fall season.
order Tim Hortons now, or die. <laughs> Thank you, Rebels Media students, for preparing these entertaining videos. A few upcoming events include the Rebels Read book launch, which is today, Fear Factor, held by student government this Thursday, and also Spirit Week. Hope you wore your pajamas today. Tomorrow's Plaid Tuesday, then there's Athletic Wednesday, Formal Thursday, and lastly, Costume Friday. We can't wait to see what you guys come up with. See you next week on Rebels Media.